What are his thoughts of you? Hi, beautiful soul. Thank you for joining me, Mystic Mia Moksha, here on Mostly in the Moment for another Love Pick Card reading. We're looking at his thoughts of you, about you personally, and about the connection between the two of you. And then we're also going to look at his higher self's message for you, as well as spirit's message for you in regards to this connection. Yeah, so I just finished doing these readings and the high vibe energies after this eclipse are still going. I could tell from the channelings, I could tell from my own energies in my own life and from other lightworkers, star seeds, and highly spiritual people that I talk to and I'm friends with. These energies are so beautiful for true love unions, for divine counterpart unions, and you can just kind of see that this is where it starts. It starts with people coming together that are soulmates to create more love on, on the planet. And so, yeah, I'm excited for you to check out these readings. They're timeless, of course, and the timestamps are below. And yeah, I really hope you enjoy it. Much love and light. Hi, beautiful pile one. The clear quartz. Looking at his thoughts of you. We look at different thoughts he's having about you and the connection. So let's get right into it. What are his thoughts about you? The chariot. He feels you have this kind of drive for more in life. In the connection and in your own goals and you're just someone who can dream big or has big goals for the connection and for your own life and for your vision for the future and they admire that so much. Sometimes they kind of catch you daydreaming or wondering how you would look thinking about this specific goal, this specific dream and they find it to be so dreamy to catch you when you're in a dreamy kind of state, when you're daydreaming or um, thinking about something so intensely that you're kind of not there, you know, you're a little bit aloof. They love catching you like that because they, they can see like almost like your inner workings, you know. They might be someone who's very pensive as well, very, you know, um, in their own minds, thinking a lot all the time. So they, they really much, they really appreciate um, that you're similar or that you you just are kind of in your own world sometimes. It's off in your own dreams and fantasies and visions and yeah, it's, it's really <laughs> cute isn't the right word. Um, alluring, just mysterious. You have this like mysterious mystique about you and it's, it's it's very charming and <laughs> you might not even know that you're um, coming off that way. Perform a random act of kindness. I, I feel like you're always thinking about getting a gift for someone. You're always very thoughtful. If you're going to, you know, a friend's place or a, fr a family's place for dinner or something like that you always bring something or you always ask like hey do you want me to come earlier to help you or stay later to help you clean up whatever um you're always thinking about buying little gifts if something reminds you of someone you buy it for them or um and then you you tend to know how to make someone feel special um with with little gifts here and there which makes your person want to give you gifts more too they also i'm getting they also love the way that you react when you open the gifts which is such a terrifying thing sometimes right but like you genuinely always really appreciate their big and small gifts and so they feel good they really feel good around you when um you make them happy when they are able to make you happy you know and it's vice versa like i feel like you do the same for them it's really this is really cute what do they think about you in terms of a relationship? Camera guy. Eight of rings. Eight of pentacles. Night vision. 
just have like all this like eraser dust. I was just erasing with my pencil and like just keeping the card stuck a little. Okay. Okay, there's a feeling about um, starting over or starting over on a specific goal between the two of you. Um, the night vision card always kind of meant for me that you can see everything so clearly like in such detail even like with like night vision goggles on like you can see everything and then some like you can see all the little details um better than you could ever before and the eight of rings the eight of pentacles um like the work card yeah i feel like you two are kind of revisiting something how how to go, tackle something um I feel like it was like a project or a goal between the two of you. Um, you might also be thinking about changing up your career or doing something different in terms of your work or what you do for money. Um, that's going to affect the connection. Maybe it'll give you more free time. Maybe you are more ambitious because of the connection maybe you two have more like family goals or planning things for the future so like you're, you're more ambitious at work and you want to make more money for your relationship goals maybe um it'll affect where you go where you two are going to move to next or um how much time you get to see each other yeah so either you or him may be having some changes at work but I also do see that um, something between the two of you, the work in the relationship, so something that the two of you had um, in mind for a goal of the relationship, you might be revisiting or reworking, I'm getting, with, with the racer <laughs> um, thing there. Like, um, let, let's, let's figure out how to make this work better than last time or, you know... Let's dust this off and try it, try it again or, you know, whatever this dream or goal was between the two of you, figuring out some other way to kind of achieve it. Yeah, so there's a lot of stuff going on in your life right now. I, I feel like it's getting a little bit busier and you two are definitely going to feel it with your own, like, individual work outside of the relationship and your work in the relationship. It feels like things are getting a little bit more busy. And in a good way too. Like it feels like there's more clarity in life right now and in the relationship right now. So that's really good. Um, what thoughts is he having about life in general? Let's just take a peek at his head. What's going on in his head right now that you might want to know? Fish. Ooh. Business, abundance, wealth, success. Okay. Yeah, success and money, flow, entrepreneur. Yeah, so I do feel like there might be um, ideas being swung around about a potential investment you two might be making, making more money, um, career changes, or even working together, starting a business together, or a side gig together, um, doing something with money, making more money, or helping someone else with money. Uh, but I feel like for most of you, it's increasing the abundance in your relationship for our future goals um that is definitely on their mind i feel like something got them inspired to think about this with you yeah their their mind is in a very positive way um thinking of all the possibilities um for the future between the two of you so i do feel like there's an entrepreneur energy here where he might be thinking about some sort of business venture together. Um, and of course, with the Seven of Cups here, it's just kind of like the beginning stages where you're kind of brainstorming, but his mind is thinking. It's, it's turning its wheels. And um, yeah, this is, this is really good because it's, it's always a good sign to see a lot of ideas come in, a lot of creativity, a lot of passion, a lot of interest in working on something that would help the relationship kind of expanding um, the goals for the two of you the vision the future vision between the two of you yeah really good stuff um, 
yeah, he's inspired to to do more and to make more and for for the relationship. And then it's, and it's you, Paolo, that's inspiring them. This is great. Um, and what thoughts are they having about the connection between the two of you? What thoughts are they having between the connection between you? You and I were too young, yeah, especially with the eraser marks. Um, what is it called? Eraser, like eraser dust <laughs> or eraser sh um, shavings or whatever debris okay i had to look look that up because i that was gonna annoy me but um yeah i feel like there's something about you two trying something again um maybe you two were trying to family plan and didn't really have the resources for it you know people or money or feeling like you're in the right place at work in your careers um uh maybe the dreams and goals that you two want for life have changed and evolved and matured as you two have. So this might have been something just like that you thought of six months, a year ago, or maybe like five, ten years ago. But it feels like that you two are revisiting something that something that you've um, you two have kind of evolved and matured. This goal and this dream has also evolved and matured between the two of you and it feels like the two of you are ready to kind of take something else on wow yeah so it doesn't matter how short a period of time or a long period of time it's been since you've revisited this but I feel like they definitely feel like they've learned so much since the last time four pentacles yeah it does feel like um a home energy that's with the nest here um something with um finances home Family planning, that's the vibe I'm getting here. Definitely feels like um, revisiting it now. Both of you have kind of upgraded your vision, maybe changed it a little bit, maybe changed it a lot, and feel like you've grown a lot since the last time you two visited this goal, this dream. And now you two feel more ready to take on this, this big goal, whatever it is. It does feel like... Something to do with um, your finances, your savings, or um, your home or family planning for sure. All right, let's look at a message from his highest self and spirit. Ooh, wow. Okay. So we got the death card here. And tortoise, slowly but surely getting ahead. So I feel like his higher self is saying like, this is the end of things moving really slowly between the two of you. Like, and you can tell from the energy, it's like, oh, things are about to get busy. Things are about to like pick up, right? Like within the connection and outside of the connection and really like fun ways um, to move forward on your goals, your individual goals and mutual goals, like at the same time. So I feel like his higher self is saying to you, like if things felt like they were moving so slowly, like that's, that's definitely ending now. You can definitely feel things are able to pick up really quickly. And a message from Spirit. Ladder. Yeah, climbing towards success. Yes. Love this message. Um, so that's Spirit saying like, yeah, like you two are on the right path. This goal that you two have for, with each other or many goals is um, divinely supported. And um yeah, there's definitely success here. You two are on the right path and you're doing great and things are about to pick up and definitely manageable, but like it's going to pick up, you know, a little bit more and more and more as, as these next few months unfold. Yeah. Next weeks and months unfold. So really exciting time for you and your person, Pao. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, I really appreciate it. Like a comment. And with that, I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day and I wish you much love and light. Hi, beautiful pile too, with the rose quartz. We're looking at his thoughts of you. We're gonna look at different thoughts he's having about you, about you and the connection. So let's get started. What are his thoughts about you? Ooh, the death card. Okay, there's a little, little bit of like a they're turned, <laughs> they're really turned on by this, um, this like kind of serious and dark and mysterious and kind of wild side that they're seeing from you 
it's kind of like the the scary side of a person the dangerous side of a person um not like in a scary bad way but in kind of in like a oh yeah that's a dangerous woman like you know she you know she means business if like someone crosses her like she's like not someone to be messed with and everyone needs that little bit of that quality right um because if you're not just if you're not a little bit dangerous you're you're just gonna be weak so everyone has that kind of like shadow aspect where it's like oh yeah like you don't want to mess with that right so um they're seeing a little bit of that it's in a little bit more of a serious tone and like straightforward so it might be some something you're dealing with is a little bit um showing your kind of putting your foot down kind of side where it's like oh like this is my boundary or this is as far as you can go this is how, how much I'm going to fight for this like it's a little bit more of a serious tone whatever you're fighting for at this time and that they're witnessing but it is oh it is turning them on <laughs> pile two is turning them on um stay away from trauma today <laughs> yeah because they usually see you as this very calm peaceful you know person and I, i'm getting you handling handling all of this very like professionally too or very like very well very poised um but there's a part of you that's like yeah i'm not gonna back down from something that's that means this much to me like i pick my battles wisely and this is um this is something i'm not gonna like um just let happen yeah this is good like they like seeing the side of you because they don't sit to see it often or they might have never seen it for some of you because you're very much like a very mature person who's like Ugh, like I, i'm not i don't you don't get into petty fights you're not um usually and you don't you stay away from drama you don't cause any drama but there's like times where it's like you feel it's appropriate and this this is a time where it feels like it's appropriate time to kind of fight for what you believe in or stand up for what you think is right um yeah and you're so cool calm collected as well while you're like kind of letting your like shadow self and your dark side and your serious side and your dangerous side like reveal itself a little bit it's still very controlled but it's like oh it's a sight to be seen wow yeah it's turning your person on a lot pal too okay so um what are his thoughts of you in terms of a relationship paradise wow i love it and i love how this woman's like here on the beach as well yeah I'm getting this like don't mess with me energy but also like that energy is with you all the time not only when you're kind of standing up for something or fighting for something but also when you're just by yourself you have this energy of like I'm not someone to be effed with I'm not someone to be messed around with um wow yeah so in paradise the sun card like they love being with you they love being with you or the idea of being with you they it's paradise to them it doesn't get better than this they definitely hold you in a high regard they definitely put you on a pedestal too because like and like you deserve to be like you do it to them it's like yeah you're obviously better than most there's a reason that you have such a high value wow pal too gather yeah and it came out in reverse um I, I do feel like you have a very uh bold personality and they love that about you but you also have a very quiet and soft side of you of as well and it feels like you, you get to put on a lot of different kind of versions of yourself sometimes you can be a little bit more spicy a little bit more flirty and flamboyant and loud or bubbly and then sometimes you're just very like serene and serious and contemplative and peaceful and they, they love all these sides of you um 
I feel like you're the kind of person that attracts a lot of different kinds of people from different like walks of life um but you you like being alone and you like although you like people around you you like to I'm getting curate the people around you like you like specific people around you for for specific moods and specific um at specific times for specific reasons like um you're very picky about the people you keep around you and what people you hang out with when you're in certain moods or you're feeling a certain way maybe you feel a bit more creative and you like hanging out with more creative people creative friends um, creative strangers um but yeah I feel like there's like a lot of like you're like a multifaceted jewel like you you have a lot of versions of yourself that you like to you know express um and this person absolutely adores you and loves all all the sides of you and and can just watch you in amazement okay so uh what are their thoughts about life in general like let's what's, what's what's going on in their head if you could take a peek inside things that you might want to know house okay wow family warmth privacy comfort Let's see um a security property comfort so that are having thoughts about the home or the house living together or doing something around the house wow okay uh two of cups okay so they might yeah de they're definitely thinking about if you're not already living together about moving in together or being closer to each other um visiting you if, they, if it has if it's been a while um, but for most of you, I feel like they're thinking about possibly moving in together or moving into a different place or creating a home together. It's definitely strongly on their mind. Yeah, they definitely with the paradise card here and like the fact that they love every part of you and, you know, um, it, it, there's definitely a feeling of, I'm getting a very, very strong feeling. Um, it's very, um, passionate <laughs> it's very sexual uh they're definitely very s sexually aroused by you they they desire you fully and completely and wholly um all of you like they want to get married to you they want to live with you they want to have you in bed and they want to create this life with you like they want to be with you they, they definitely see you as end all be all like you're everything to them Oh, that's so cute. Okay. So, um, what other thoughts is he having about the connection with you? I knew exactly what I was doing. <laughs> okay, and five of cups in reverse. This is energy of um like they're trying to win you back or kind of win you over after um, after this like heartbreaking moment or not, it's not a heartbreak it's like more of like just like a disappointment so um I feel like this moment whatever happened where you kind of like stuck to your guns and like really stood up for yourself and like showed that like you're not someone to be messed with that like kind of that kind of like solidified something for them where they realize like this is a woman I want to live with. Like, this is a woman who will like fight for our, our home and our family and stuff like that. Like this is a, like a warrior woman. Like she's, she's so worthy. And so like after this, like kind of whatever this was, this little tiff, I don't know. I, I feel like it's, it's not with him. It's like with someone... I feel like someone is like someone else, like family or friend or work situation or just something like just the way you handled yourself. Like maybe it's like um, public scrutination or something or I don't know, like the way you handled yourself, it was like very, very cool to them. And ever since then, they've been kind of plotting <laughs> their way to kind of snag you up, like to... um kind of wife you up and kind of um take you home and make you theirs kind of 
I don't know. It, this isn't the only thing. Like, I feel like this was just, like, added on to the list of why I want to make this woman my wife kind of thing. Or why I want to um, live with this woman. Like, there's something about you can handle your own or... Yeah, something about you're a worthy woman or all the sides of you. Like, they get to see, like, all the sides of you and they're, really, like, more than once or something like that. And it, it confirmed something from them. Um... I feel like they were already f felt confirmed in so many other ways, but this is like an extra additional confirmation and that they need to scoop you up sooner rather than later. <laughs> um, they need to give you a home sooner rather than later, right? Um, otherwise, you're going to be scooped up by someone else because you are paradise. Like, you, like, living with you is like a dream. Like, I really feel like, like your person isn't exaggerating here, pal, too. Like, living with you is like, like, that person would be lucky. You know, even, like, your friends and family and whoever you've dated before, like, if, if it's, like, they know. Like, it's lucky to know you because you, I don't know, you make things special. You make things, like, they feel comfortable around you. Like, if they're out, like, you're going to defend them or you're going to talk them up and, like, make them look good or, you know, they're going to have a fun time always, or they're going to be able to talk to you about serious things. Like, you are, like, a multifaceted woman, probably, too. That is so valuable. And, like, this person's like, yeah, like, no-brainer. This is the way to go. Like, I'm lucky if I get to spend my life with her. Okay, then a message from his higher self and from spirit. Ten of swords. Yeah, and it came out in reverse, so I do feel like... There was some sort of um, difficulty, and I'm getting it's like outside of the connection, but it affected the connection um, that you or him or both of you might have gone through um, in the recent past. Crown, honor and respect will come to you. Yeah, this person really, really like um, respects you, pal, too. They really see you for who you are, like deep, deep down. And like, it's just, you can do no wrong. You literally make every part of their life better, every part of existence better. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Marriage, the message from spirit. Like this is, yeah, we got marriage and house. Yeah, this person's going to wife you up, how to, <laughs> if they haven't already. Um... And if, if you two are already married, like I'm getting for a few of you, maybe this, you already talking about marriage or, um, already married. Um, it definitely feels like there's like a honeymoon part two coming up or like another recognition of like how wonderful you are as a wife, um, uh, maybe a surprise birthday or a surprise vacation or like even renewing your vows or something like I do feel like, but for most of you, like this is, this is it. <laughs> This is it. Well, Paul, too. Congratulations. I hope you enjoyed the reading. It resonated. I really appreciate it. Like a comment. And with that, I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day. And I wish you so much love and light. Hi, beautiful Paul 3 with the Ocean Jasper for looking at his thoughts of you. We will get different thoughts he's having about you right now, about you and the connection and all that. So let's get started. What are his thoughts about you? the apprentice of pentacles page of pentacles there's something very sexy about um like the way you work so whether it's at, at work like what if you know this person through your workplace or just like at home the way you organize things the way you make lists the way you um Maybe work on your computer or play games or watch watch stuff on your phone. I feel like it's like it's more of a productive vibe. The way you work, it's very cute, I'm hearing. <laughs> Which is um not typical. Not a typical uh, message you hear. Um but yeah, the way you work with the way you work, it's really cute. Like seeing charts and paper and maybe newspapers and tablets and phones and laptops and computers um they like the they kind of like you oh my gosh they kind of like to see you 
from behind, but not just like in a sexual bit way, but like from the side or from from behind or just kind of seeing you in your day to day life. Um, they they do think you look really cute in like a work type outfit. So like the way you do your hair or the way you dress for work, it kind of gives like a uniform uniform vibe, and they love that. They kind of like this like professional like sexy librarian kind of look, um, or a sexy um, office professional kind of look. Um, even even just like the loungy kind of look, they like too. Um, if you work from home or something, um, or if you're just um, you know working on organizing something in your home like they they like your work outfit or your work attire or your like when you're getting to work kind of energy whether you're in like scrubs or um uh, what's it called like lounge wear or you know dressed up in your work outfit like they they just they like seeing you it feels like just like another character in the in the story like just seeing you from like the outside I don't know I mean it's like it's it's a it's a unusual uh compliment <laughs> nourish your body with high vibe energy yeah just like even when you're like kind of making lunch or breakfast or just going about your day there's something very sexy and appealing about that to them like they don't get just like not seeing you like dead on like seeing like you know sitting across from each other at dinner and like looking into your face looking into your eyes There's something was sexy about seeing you from all angles oh my goodness like yeah you go ha- go ahead and take that very sexual if you want but like there's something about like um like seeing like yeah, the way your hair falls to your side of your face and seeing your face from the like the side or something like that it's just like I don't know it's like getting to see all the sexy angles of you but not just like in a sexy way but in a way it's like I don't know like not seeing you from a usual perspective like straight face to face eye like looking into each other's eyes but seeing you kind of go around doing your thing I think the allure is that like like they like being around you they like seeing you around I feel like the, I feel like this is energy of like there's a couple of energies I'm getting sorry I'm so stuck on this because it's like so like unusual but there's like one energy of like um they they were so into their work before that they never really they never noticed these like small moments in their past relationships or in the past with you and they're like making it more they're making more of an effort to be in the moment and to notice these small small things that happen so that they are loving catching these little small moments of your like you know your hot hair falling down or the way you're wearing your hair or the way you're dressing and they're paying attention to these details more and it feels like they kind of feels like this energy of like they've been missing out on the details of life because of work or maybe they didn't like the people that they were around before or something like that but they're like enjoying catching these little moments like little glimpse of your life um being around you more um I don't know if they're like working from home more now or if you're seeing each other more now or they're um they're catching you doing like just day-to-day things maybe they, they are catching you at lunch more or breakfast or um I don't know what it is but they love catching you you in these little moments of like, you know, what is pile three up to right now? Like, and just catching you, like, you know, doing your makeup or putting on a face mask or working on your computer or, you know, with like a smoothie next to you or, you know, like, oh, what is she drinking? Or like, what was her, what, what kind of drink is that? Like bubbly or like, what kind of coffee is that? Or, you know, what is she, what is she doing with her hair? What's on her face? Like, what is, what is that? What, what, what is these like shiny sparkly things? What are, what are like, What's that around her? Like, is she doing work on her bed? Is she like, like, oh, I never noticed that, like, her, like, she wore, like, different jackets or coats or, like, all the different kind, like, the way she did her, like, all the different ways she did her hair or, you know, things that, like, you know, her different, like, sh- like, you know, shoes, whatever, just, like, little details of, of your day-to-day life that they didn't really notice about people before, ever, like, past romantic people no just other people in their life no 
people in their office know. Like, it's just, they're noticing these things about you, and it's just, it feels like they're in your story for a little while, and they love that. They like to hear your narrative. They like to see the setting. They like to see your outfit. Like, they're paying attention to, like, these little details that they've never noticed before. So interesting. Okay, so what do they think about you in terms of a relationship? winner six of roses yeah i do feel a tiny bit of a competitive vibe from your person path three like they they seem like the kind of person who likes to you know make a little bit more money than the put people around them or um have a better status or dress a little bit better you know they they have a it's not like an unhealthy ego but they do have a little bit of a competitive edge to them and so they do feel like a winner <laughs> to be with you definitely feels like you can be a trophy tri trophy wife but you're not because you're so much more than that but they it is like they are catching you doing these things like around the home and in your own work where you look really pretty like whether you're in your sweats or you whether you're really dressed up and they're like wow I'm I'm a winner here like she's definitely a tro she could be a trophy wife if she wanted to be, but like, look at her go. Look at all the stuff she does. Like, you know, um, really good um, indication that he values what you do and pays attention to you and is making an effort to be more aware and pay attention more and value you more. So, really good sign, pile three. Okay, reflection and reverse. I do feel like, um, I'm getting in the past, they might have thought that you didn't do as much as you actually did. I feel like they would catch you when you're on your downtime or taking breaks and they didn't really understand um, I'm getting why you took so many breaks or why they always caught you when you're like they thought they maybe they maybe thought that you were procrastinating or lazy or did less than you did not to that extreme like the lazy part like for very very few of you but f for most of you they just didn't understand why you worked the way you did because I feel like you've changed your habits in a w to a way where you kind of make sure you take frequent breaks or um allow yourself to rest in between whatever chores you're doing or workload projects you're doing. Um, and they realize it's because of how much you actually do. <laughs> um, and, and how you manage to also include in your busy, busy schedule times to, your, times to yourself to catch up with yourself and self-care and stuff like that i feel like pile three your person is really learning from you they're learning how you work and they're learning why you do the things that you do um i feel like they did slightly judge you before and now that judgment is completely gone but more than that they're learning from you they're evolving because of you because they're um paying attention to you more and seeing how you work and why you work like that. And there's a real sense of like, as a woman, you know? Like, I, I feel like there's like, they're understanding women more because of you. And how women work and why they work the, the way that they do. And like, specifically you too, like how why you work the way that you do. Because I feel like there's something like unique about the way you handle life and you hand your, handle your day-to-day -day responsibilities and why it works for you and why it's so specific for you. Um, and that's so meaningful because they're taking the initiative to understand you better, to learn about you, um, and it's making them fall in love with you more, to be honest. All right, so what are his thoughts about life in general right now? Let's take a peek into his head to see where it's at. Things that you might want to know. Tree. 
vitality, the past. Okay, tree is health, body, growth, grounding, ancestry. Yeah, so there is a little bit, of, I mentioned before, like this person does have a little bit of like, um, like he cares how he presents himself, you know, um, whether that's in money or status or his looks um, or all of the above. Um, he does um, care about like the legacy he's going to live, uh, live, leave. Um, he wants to have like the, the nice home and like, you know, well-rounded kids and something something to leave behind nice nice um a nice home did I already say that <laughs> but yeah I do feel like that's that's on his mind like things that like people can outwardly see and judge um you can probably tell why he was a little bit judgmental towards you because he's a little bit judgmental towards himself he feels like other people are a little bit more judgmental towards other people a lot um and so like a little bit like his looks matter the way he comes off the way he um like he might be someone who like works out for that reason or yeah for him like looks do matter a little bit okay let's see strength card the leo card uh-huh yep yeah definitely he might be someone who like works out he, he also likes a partner who takes care of himself, um, presents, presents well. Um, sorry if you hear my tummy growl. Um, yeah, I get that like lion, like roar <laughs> thing from there. I feel like he's understanding your femininity and the quiet power that you have and he's kind of looking up to you more because like he's a little bit more showy right and he's learning how to be like quiet showy like be powerful while still being quiet you know it's like that energy of like for example people who um who are rich might kind of be really boastful and showy and not treat people right and they're you know wearing like obnoxious brand name stuff everywhere all over them right but like they're super rich they're really quiet about their money they don't like to brag about their status for privacy reasons and they also um like wear like brand name stuff but it's like hidden or in like you know it's like just on the inner tag or something like that. And it's like that kind of like yelling at people that like, look at me, look at, look at my status, look at my life, look at how good I look, look how good I have it versus like knowing that you have an awesome life and um, the power that you have in just knowing that and the energy it exudes when you just know that, but you keep it to yourself and keep it quiet um that's what he's learning from you I'm getting and that's what he's like kind of exploring at this time so like you can tell he's like taming his ego at this time which is I think I'm hearing from spirit like it's a good thing for you pile three and his thoughts about the connection with you at this time I want you yeah there's a des there's definitely a desire for you if he doesn't have you already he definitely wants you because he kind of feels like a winner when he's around you um because he feels like you're a winner and to to know you and to be with you is by proxy like he's a winner as well um but yeah i do feel like a strong desire for you as well he sees in you like everything he wants to be and could be it's just funny. I feel like you might find him really attractive and, like, someone who has a good head on their shoulders, but, like, they look at you and they're like, oh, wow, like, I want to be more like you, Pile 3. Um, I'm getting, like, for some of you, like, me? You want to be with me? 
little old pile three over here. <laughs> the me, I'm quiet and I just do my own thing. You know, <laughs> like I feel like energy. <laughs> Six of Cups, oh, okay, that's a reunion. Reunion energy. So I do feel like pile three, this might be someone coming in, new, someone new coming in or someone that's been kind of behind the scenes or kind of kind of eyeing you from across the room kind of energy. Someone coming back into your life or someone new coming into your life that um, you might feel like is, you might feel like is in a different league from you. Like it's like, why would they, like they're, they're so attractive. They're doing so, they're so successful. They're doing so well. Why would they be interested in me kind of energy? Um, but they do, but they do want you. Um, interesting. Yeah, there's so much beauty I'm getting that you you have, not in just the way you look, but and and then everything that you do. So there's such grace and just power there. They can't describe it, but they're understanding and learning more about it as they as they are around you more, and they're intoxicated by it. All right, so spirit's message, oh, the his higher selves message for you, and spirit's message for you. Ooh, the devil devil card yeah that that's that intoxication they're like mm, really seductive really just want you kind of energy um definitely getting 50 shades of gray vibes um family wishes come true the well yeah and especially with the tree like i'm getting family tree um they definitely want to create a legacy or they might come from um a well-known family or wealthy family or you know or something like that or they might want to they might not and they want to create that um, because they always looked up to people who came from those kind of families or whatever um, but yeah they they um, I heard fit the bill like I feel like you kind of check all the boxes for them um, of who they want to be the wife and mother to the kids or who they want to share with their their family like they feel proud of you like you to have you kind of thing interesting success okay from spirit especially with the six of roses six of cups uh, and the success card here i feel like there's there's long lasting potential here a potential for long-lasting success especially with the tree here the tree really brings it together and the strength like the two of you have what it takes to like teach each other learn from each other and really um build something that that lasts a long time that that's kind of like passed on for generations so really good vibes here pile three I mean, it's like, you know, trust your intuition, but I do feel like there's good energy here. There's good energy because like they're willing to learn. And I feel like there's something a little bit with like what they have is what you're lacking and what, what they want from you is, um, what they're lacking. There's a, like a really good compliment, complimentary energy between the two of you here. So if you're wondering, like, why do they want to be with me? They're wondering the same thing. Like, why would you want to be with me? <laughs> you know? All right. So I hope you enjoyed the reading pile three. If you did, I really appreciate it. Like a comment. And with that, I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day. And I wish you much love and light. Hi, beautiful pile four. With the fluorite. We're looking at his thoughts of you. We're going to look at different thoughts he's having of you. Like about you and the connection so let's get started eight of cups okay. um it definitely feels like um like you've run out of energy like you've run out of like your batteries need to be charged or something like that and it feels like you're in zombie mode and you're kind of like um you're keep working and working through things even though you have no energy left you're kind of like how am I still running and they kind of find this like 
amazing about you because they're like, wow, Pile 4 can keep going even when they're running on empty. Like, what a warrior. Like, what a woman that can just kind of keep going when they have nothing left. And um, she deserves someone to give her more. To fill up her cups. Surround yourself with a soul tribe. Yeah, see? Yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, I feel, it feels like, oh, pile four, you just give, 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 and give, and, you know, you deserve, you know, friends or family or close loved ones that can give back to you so you're not always running on empty, you know, it's like, it's like cool that, you know, you have to fill your own cup, like, before you help fill others, like, that's fine, that makes sense, but, like, it feels like you do this too often. Like you kind of run out of energy like too quickly. And it feels like that there aren't good people around you or not enough good people around you to keep your energy good. To keep you what's it called? Like replenished. I'm feeling like that energy just like kind of hit me. Like whatever this energy you're in or that your person is in pile for, it just like hit me. Like it was just like all of a sudden my, all my energy was like sucked out of me. Um, okay. So what are their thoughts about you in terms of a relationship? Miss USA, queen of roses, the beauty queen. You are definitely very beautiful. I think they're, they're realizing that that could be kind of um, like a blessing and a curse for you because you're so pretty. Like you might attract people who um, are envious of you or who aren't there for you or feel like you have everything. So why should I help you? Um, kind of leech off your energy or something like that ask you for too much um that kind of energy but they do think you are drop dead gorgeous pile four they definitely think you are very pretty very pretty that is definitely not the issue here um, fall as an autumn I'm getting that they need like a season or two um, meaning like like three to six months before they can really be in your life. I feel like they want to give you some time to kind of just catch up with yourself or to give you um, energy. I'm getting two, di two different groups of people here. Either this person is going to be like by your side and helping you every step of the way for the next three to six months or they're going to wait until after three to six months to kind of approach you because they feel like you you have a lot going on. So I'm getting almost half-half. So for some of you, this person is going to be the one trying to fill your cup, help you fill your cup up, make sure you stay at that level and... You know, can't wait until you know three to six months when they when they can kind of push this connection forward. But they're gonna be by yourself, be by your side, and help you. I don't know what this energy is, but it just like hit me. Um, really, oh, I feel like it's so funny. I was just like thinking about um, the crystals. Yeah, and there's a honk from the car. Crystals, when they break around you, and how that means, like, there's, like, too much energy, negative energy built up around you. You need to, like, cleanse your crystals and stuff like that. Probably cleanse yourself, too. Um, but, yeah, I do feel like there's, like, a built up of negative energy, because, probably because you're so burnt out and tired and such in, like, zombie mode. You're, like, running on empty here. It could be just, like, yeah, I feel like it's just you. And it's affecting the connection or you just got out of that kind of energy and your person is like hey I'm gonna be
be with Pal for so much and help her refill her cup and make sure she's okay and that she's like her energy is back and she's in a good place and for the next three six months I'm not gonna leave her side and be be there until she gets um, back on her feet and that's until we can move forward and there's a second group of you where it's like this person is like maybe they don't know you as well or you know this connection hasn't already started yet or they're coming back and they they kind of want to give you space to kind of get better get your energy back and get into a better place before they um approach you with something like going out with them or reconnecting or um pursuing a connection you know all right so what are his thoughts about life in general? If we could take a peek into his mind right now, something you might want to know about where his head's at. The Sith. Ooh. Oh, yes, it's pronounced Scythe here. Scythe. So we see separation, cutting ties, accidents, danger. Yeah. It definitely feels like maybe you are having gone through a separation it's such a the eight of cups here maybe you decided to leave someone or you know there might have been a breakup or something or maybe there was a um a recent death or someone who left your life a friend or something or maybe you left work or something something along those lines and how it's like not like a really good time to add people into your life right now because of like what you're going through like some sort of betrayal or some sort of loss and so they're worried about um coming in at the wrong time if you've been with this person and they're you're, you two are friends or you two are even in a connection or right now they might want to move the connection forward or change the connection somehow but they're afraid of doing anything right now when you're in such a vulnerable state and they just kind of want to be there for you right now and they worry about what would happen if they um made those changes now hmm okay i do see some sort of uh change in connection yeah there's a train whistle all right i'm just gonna say it okay so um they might want to they might want to change this connection from friendship to something more but i feel like for some of you um they might want to take a break or maybe end this connection but they don't feel right leaving you right now because of maybe of other things going on in your life um or this might be like that you just got out of a relationship or just kind of um, had like a falling out with a friend or something or someone close to you and so they don't feel comfortable moving the connection between the two of you forward even if they wanted to because of this like falling out or whatever um, I mean if for one or two of you it's like oh they wanted to kind of like move in together or like kind of propose or get married or something but then like someone like opposed it or something or someone like I don't know, something happened where they're just like okay postpone this um, but they are, one common theme of everyone picking this pile is that your person is very sensitive to what just happened around you, pile four, that, um, where they're going to take their time to, um, and it's out of love and care that they decide to kind of postpone whatever change they want to implement for this connection. And for most of you, that's positive until you're in a better place okay so what thoughts are they having about the connection with you i will wait for a sign from you i so synchronistic exactly yeah i will wait for a sign from you yeah because it's like it, behind like under this like beauty queen card like they definitely think you're so pretty and so um so beautiful inside and out that you're worth waiting for and so this person is like yeah i'll wait until i see the signs that you're in a better place or that you're available to talk or that you're open to the connection or 
leveling up the connection or whatever it is, like I'll wait for you, a sign from you, because it does seem like something just happened, pile four for you, um, where you're not like emotionally available right now. Ten of Pentacles, how cute. And I love like um, how these kind of like earthy colors, autumn, fall colors are um, in these two cards, the Ten of Pentacles and the fall card. I do feel like there's a lot of promise here and for most of you and the Ten of Pentacles with the fall, like it feels like you're worth waiting for. This is everything. We can have everything. Um, like I can't wait to kind of start this with you soon but I do want to take time to kind of make sure you're in a good place before we start this next chapter together um they might even aid you in helping you with like finding the right people the right resources to kind of get through this time for some of you like I'm reading for obviously the most serious cases but for like the casual cases like it just might be that you need more support in your life. Maybe you move to a new area and you just need more friends. Get your get your footing in before you kind of make more changes or something like that. Um, maybe you have you started a new job and you just kind of want to get familiar with the people there. Get on a good terms with everyone there before like you know diving straight into a relationship or the next chapter of their connection or whatever. Making these other big changes, you know. But I do feel like. People are important. And so, pile four, your person's like, I just want to be here for you. And make sure you find the right people who kind of replenish your energies. Give you what you need. The love and support and whatever whatever else. Make sure you're set up before we do anything with this relationship. And it might be just like, you know, any, any time between like three to six months I'm getting. Alright, so a message from their higher self and also from spirit. Three of Pentacles, yeah, Three of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, very synchronistic. And then we have the Three Friends here, which reminds me of the Three of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you need people to work with. So I don't know if like there's something about like people missing in your life. Like maybe it's like friends at work or friends in your own personal life or friends like you know some or like people that you can do certain kind of work with or yeah, there's something about like out with the old and with the new but people who aren't serving you are gone but really like uh, they left in like not a pleasant way they really kicked you down and they're, they just kind of want to make sure that you're you know that you have people who aren't going to treat you like that again you know so um three of pentacles yeah there's something about i don't want to move this forward until like you have your your support system on board yeah okay so his higher self scales keep your life in balance yes i love this so pile four like he's definitely cares for you so much so that he wants to make sure that like you know that he's not your only friend or like he's not the only one who is looking out for you that like you have other people in your life that can support you as well you might have like friends and family or whatever but like I feel like some someone just like kind of left your life I feel like it's more than one person and so it kind of makes you feel like it's a hole in your life and he really wants to make sure that you are like you have people outside of him that you can rely on and count on um especially with these new new holes in your life in that in that area uh, which is a really good sign that he cares for you so deeply that he's not going to be like, oh, like, let's get into obsessive, just you and me relationship where no one else is, like, invited in. I'm sus suspicious of everyone else that might think that you, you shouldn't be with me and whatever, like, potentially say bad things about me, like, keep you away from me. Like, he's not, like, a weirdo like that, which is a good sign. Like, he... he cares I'm, I'm just using that as an example to show you like there are people like that out there you wouldn't attract them you attract the person who is like you who genuinely cares about other people there might have been people in your life who didn't care for you as 
as much as you cared for them. Didn't doesn't mean that they didn't care for you, but it just kind of left a hole in your support system. Okay, and this person acknowledges it, power for you. He acknowledges it. And he wants you to have everything in life. Oh, so cute. I'm getting like even like these these next next chapters of your lives together. He, he wants you to have um like your friends or people who um who you care for and cares for you to enjoy this that these next chapters of your life together. For example, if you're getting married or um you know want to have like dinner parties or something like that. He, he wants you to um, feel like you have everything. Okay, and spirit's message for you. Dark man, dealings or relationships with a man with dark complexion or hair. And you'll be playing a different role. Okay, interesting. So I feel like your person pile four takes on like a different role like during this next three to six months where he's not just your lover or your love interest but he's also like not your wingman but someone who's like your protector with the dark man i definitely feel like he's being your protector he's making sure that there people don't come into your life to hurt you even if it's your own friends or family or strangers or anything like he's he's looking out for you and making sure that you get what you need in your life right now because he feels like he's he knows he's good for you and he wants you to have the best in life and that like he'll put like your connection on pause in order for in order to help you with another part of your life there's something about like maybe being invited to an event or something like that and then like um a family member not treating you right or like a friend just pulling the rug out from underneath you and like completely betraying you or like um you know people not stepping up in the way they should have to support you or something like that like there's something like it was it's slightly devastating and it made your person pile for it. it made him kind of like um show you a different side of him where he becomes like a protector and really like um interested in like the people you bring into your life now as friends because of what he just witnessed you go through. So you can see him kind of wearing a different hat at this time, the next three, six months, where he's not just like your love interest, but he's also um, a protector, kind of getting like a brother vibe or a security guard vibe, but also like someone who um, is looking out for you as a really, like your best friend and wants the best for you. Um really putting what he wants aside for a moment until you get to you have everything until you get everything you can join him with everything because you are his everything i'm getting so like it makes him want to make sure that you have everything before moving forward too you deserve it i'm hearing oh that's so cute pile four let me know if this resonates it's really cute um and if it did, I'd really appreciate it, like a comment. And with that, I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day and I wish you much love and light.